Hey, Coach, how are you? I'm good. What are your expectations for the team heading into the next couple of weeks? Yeah, expectations for us, uh, we've talked a lot about, you know, championship time. We want to be at our best. Um, we want to be, you know, um, we want to be at our best at SECs, but also moving into this next phase. Um, I really have full confidence that we can be better than what we've been. So uh, expectations for us is to be the best we can absolutely be, improve on what we've done, um, and move through the competition as a team, as a, as a um, you know, as a unit. And, uh, you know, I think we'll feel like we've had a successful season if we can finish it the way that we want. We've had a great season so far, but I want to cap this off um, with a great NCAAs. Coach, you've had a pretty successful professional career yourself. How are you using your personal, you know, memories or whatever from your your time of swimming to the kids now? Yeah, I still get pretty fired up. It's like it's uh, uh, it never really leaves you. I feel like the competitive um, side of this time of year, you know, March um, for me is just um, it means a lot. It always has meant a lot. And uh, so I shared a little bit, some stories yesterday with, uh, with the team and uh, that kind of, you know, it, it really honestly just gets me in a mindset where, you know, I'm excited for what they can do. Um, I like to pull on some things that I know uh, are good lessons for them, but ultimately, um, you know, I want to make this about them and their experience and how they can uh, improve from SECs till now. And um, so, yeah, it, it, it's a special time. I, I always, I tell people, you know, some people, the, the training and the day-to-day, -day I absolutely love. But for me, the championship time is, uh, you know, Avery kind of mentioned it, is like, you know, that time of year, if you can get it done, you know, that's kind of what people see, right, at the end. Um, and so we want to definitely shine our brightest uh, when, when the lights are on. And, you know, for us, that's in March, and that's at NCAAs. So you've, you've had a lot of freshmen and sophomores qualify. What do you expect to see from them in the coming weeks? Honestly, uh, them being them, they're they're a great group. Um, talk about just being yourself, being uh, being who you are, and bringing what you have, which is a which is a lot. This group is uh, you know very talented, uh, but also they work really hard and they've really added to everything we've been doing. Um, you know, they come in, they're excited to get to work, they're excited to perform as well and race, and so they've really added to what we've been doing, which has been awesome. Um, and they've really stuck to kind of who they are uh, through the process, but definitely growing and growing into these moments that are a little more, um, you know, pressure packed in some ways and, and finding themselves through that. And so excited for them to get up and compete against the best of the best. And we talk a lot about whether you're a freshman or a fifth year, you know, for us, it's um, competing and doing it at the best level you can um, and learning from each moment along the way. You've touched on it a little bit already, but just talk to me a little bit about the impact that those freshman swimmers have had so far this season. Yeah, well, you know, off the top of my head, the, the relays have been massive, you know, for them to come in. And, um, you know, there's there's been some, uh, you know, very elite performers on our relays in the past couple of years. And so um, for them to step into those positions uh, is, is quite a tall task. And they've really stepped into it and done a great job. Um, and, you know, they, from a relay perspective, they've done awesome, but then also from an individual perspective, they've just come in and, um, you know, put themselves up against the best. And so to have some freshmen make the meet individually uh, is wonderful. And I think it's a testament to also the upperclassmen and the leadership that they've given uh, along the season. So we just talked to Avery and Charlie. Um, what can you describe their role that they've taken on this year? Yeah, it's hard to put into words to be honest. It's it's um I I feel a lot of pride in our upperclassmen because of the way they they handle themselves because of the way that they have taken in the 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 freshmen the sophomores and really uh you know taught but also you know it's kind of that um they both learn from each other and I think it's pretty cool. So, you know, Avery and Charlie both um you know have had really successful careers so far and I think the fact that they're still wanting to learn, wanting to get better, wanting to get faster and all those things um the freshmen and sophomores definitely look at look up to that um, and then to kind of combine those two things at the meet is going to be pretty exciting. Given that half the team that's going is freshmen and sophomores how does that build for years to come in the program like how, how, how special is that as we get further through the years? 
yeah, that's that's what we want. We want to each year kind of challenge the next. So for us in the recruiting process, um, you know, we start recruiting them as sophomores now, right? And so um, the class that's kind of walking walking in now, the, their freshman year, um, that's been a long time coming. And so I think it's exciting because it kind of shows that as a staff and as a program, we're we're bringing in people that really want to. Uh, to be the best, and um, they're already doing that as freshmen, which is pretty cool. So definitely excited for this season. And Charlie mentioned a little bit. Of course, you know you don't want to look too far ahead, but um, it's it's a, a, a good sign when you know your freshmen and your sophomores are able to make this meet and contribute on the team at such a high level. Uh, and so looking forward, it's just like to, we want to continue to bring in people that that can do that and want to do that. With it being an Olympic year, how has that impacted what y'all are doing, how you're practicing, conversations around the program, all of that? Yeah, Olympic year for us is big. It's exciting. Um, I think, you know, what's what's cool and, and kind of unique is that um, our college season really fits into what we're doing for the Olympic year already. And so, you know, as uh, you know, we've got two two people in this room that um, that are definitely at that level um, to to be able to to go uh, perform at that sort of competition. And so, the Olympics to us is um, you know setting them up throughout the season. We do a lot of long course throughout the season, uh, you know, just in our day to day. But also as they perform at these different meets, it's just each step along the way is really helping them pre prepare for that trials and for that meet in general. Um, and so we definitely want to have it uh, have it as a focus, but we also want to break it down and not get too far ahead of ourselves and get too caught up in those moments when we really stay where we are and focus on that and keep um, doing the best we can and making progress through the season. So the Olympics is, of course, uh, something that we have our sets our, our sights set on, um, but we also want to make sure we're doing what we need to do from now until then uh, to really perform and, and sharpen up.